Hey everyone, today I'm going to be making this modern style ladder bookcase. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. I picked up this giant piece of sapili from my local hardwood dealer. I thought it'd be fun to build the whole project out of one piece of lumber. The board was almost 16 inches wide, so I had to break it all down with a circular saw. It was way too wide to fit on my miter saw. Then I could straighten one edge with my joiner. I ripped the boards down to 12 inches wide so that I can get the shelves and be able to get the legs out of the same board. I had to flatten one side of the board with my hand planes before sending it to the planer. Um, it wasn't too warped or anything so I just had to work a little bit off each corner uh, and then keep checking it against my flat workbench. doesn't need to be perfect, just flat enough to where it doesn't rock back and forth on the bench. Then I can finish flattening the board on the planer. The last step of the dimensioning process is to cut all the boards to length of the miter saw. Here I'm ripping two 8 inch wide boards so that I can make the bottom shelf which is going to be about 16 inches wide. I did my best to pick two boards with similar ribbon type pattern so it looks like one continuous board. Now I'm ready to glue up that bottom shelf. While the glue's drying on the shelf I can go ahead and start on the legs. I'll rip all the leg boards down the size of the table saw. I'll rip an extra board as well at 2 inches so that I can make the bottom and top stretcher. The front legs of the shelf are going to be at a 10 degree angle so I'll set my bevel gauge at 10 degrees and mark out all the boards. Then I can set my miter gauge to 10 degrees and cut the ends of each leg. The top and bottom stretcher are going to be put together with half lap joinery. So I'll leave my miter gauge at 10 degrees, install my dado blade, and then I can make the cuts here at the table saw. To make sure I got the position of the bottom stretcher the same on both boards, I set up my fence and a stop block. For the stretchers, I'll make the first cuts at 10 degree angles and then reset my miter gauge to make the other cuts at 90 degrees. After finishing all the dado cuts, I'll do a test fit and then start to glue up the frame. I left the stretchers a little long, so after the glues had time to dry, I'll come back with a flush cut saw and trim away any excess. I use my hand plane to finish truing up the half laps and to get rid of any saw marks and smooth out the frame. I'll come back with some 150 grit paper on my random orbital sander to get rid of any of the plane tracks I left. This next part was the trickiest part of the build for me. I had to make these dados to accept the shelves and I had to do it in two frames that mirrored each other so it made it real difficult to try to make a stop block or any kind of jig or fixture that would hold both frames while I cut the dados in the exact same spot. I spent a lot of time staring at things and making sure that uh, I got all the measurements just right before I started making any cuts. All the dados ended up where they were supposed to be which is great but I sure feel like there's a better way of doing this. If you guys have any ideas or um, have run into stuff like this in the past, I'd love for you to comment on this and let me know what I could have done different um, to make sure that all these cuts ended up in the exact same spot. Once I got the dados cut into two frames, I was able to go ahead and start cutting all the shelves to size. There's going to be a one inch lip on three sides of each shelf, so I'm cutting those out at the table saw. Then I can chop them all to the right length at the miter saw. The 
front rails of the frames are going to be curved or rounded at the top. So I'll do that work at the oscillating sander. I'll also round over the front lips of the shelves so that they match the same curve that the rails have. The lips on the shelves will be held together with just glue, so I'm using biscuit joinery to keep everything aligned while I apply clamps and get everything glued up. Once I've got all the slots cut for the biscuits and I do a quick test fit, I'm ready to start gluing this up. I think I used just about every clamp I own to get all these three shelves clamped up. Um, and I paid a lot of attention to the glue squeeze out, trying to clean up as much as I could as I went. Despite my best efforts of uh, keeping control of the glue squeeze out, I still had a lot of scraping to do when everything was cured. After I was done cleaning up all the glue squeeze out on the inside, I took my hand plane and went around the outside of each shelf. Once the shelves are all cleaned up and squared up, I'm ready to start gluing up this whole assembly. I'll install all three shelves to one frame that's laying on my bench, and then I can take the other frame and install it on top. Uh, it takes a little bit of persuasion because the dado joints were pretty tight. After letting the glue set up for a few hours, I was ready to start the sanding process. I sanded the whole project with 150 grit and then went back with 220 grit. I also broke all the edges of all the boards with 150 grit paper. One thing that I've learned over the years is that if I think I'm finished sanding, to go ahead and give myself a break for an hour or two and then come back and take another look at it. I'll definitely find that I missed a bunch of stuff. For a finish on this bookcase, I'm using General Finish's Armor Seal. I'm using the satin version. I've had really good luck with this finish in the past, so I, I can't bring myself to use anything else right now. I'll leave a link to the General Finish's Armor Seal in the description of the video so you can check it out. I applied three coats and I sanded with 400 grit paper between each coat. For the final step of this finishing process, I used a 4 aught steel wool to apply a wax. All I do is put some of the wax on the steel wool and then start rubbing it into the finish of the bookcase. So not only am I applying the wax, but I'm also knocking off any little nubs or debris that got into the finish. Once I've completed applying the wax, I can go back and buff the whole thing out with a cotton rag. It's going to leave a real nice sheen and silky smooth to the touch. And after buffing everything out, this bookcase is complete. I'm really happy with how everything turned out, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I hope you hit that subscribe button, um, and leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Thanks for watching, guys.